हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल केम्बासिस सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रिलेटिव स्टेबिलिटीज ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ साइक्लो एल्केन एंड इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू आल्सो डिस्क्राइब व्हाट इज कॉल्ड रिंग स्ट्रेन एंड व्हाट इज कॉल्ड टॉर्सन स्ट्रेन एंड हाउ दिस रिंग स्ट्रेन एंड टॉर्सनल स्ट्रेन एफेक्ट्स द रिलेटिव स्टेबिलिटीज ऑफ दिस साइक्लो एल्केन्स ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो now you can see let uh, start with the simplest of the cycloalkane that is called the cyclopropane so cyclopropane is basically a three membered ring and this cyclopropane is said to be the least stable stable cycloalkane okay so on the other hand this is uh, called cyclohexane and this cyclohexane is the most stable cyclohexane now as i am uh, telling you that cyclopropane is the least stable one and cyclohexane is the most stable cycloalkane then you should have the question that why it is so why cyclopropane is the least stable cycloalkane so to understand it you have to understand what is called ring strain and what is called torsion strain so this ring strain is basically divided into two part the first part is called angle strain and second part is called torsional strain now i will just uh, describe this angle strain and torsional strain with the example in cyclopropane okay so this is the structure of cyclopropane now uh, it uh, comprises with three carbon atom as you can see and obviously this three carbon atom uh, will form a plane and the angle that is ccc bond angle between them is 60 degree now you know that these carbon atoms are basically sp3 hybridized uh, carbon atom okay now a typical sp3 hybridized orbital look like this so this is the carbon atom it has total four lobes so these are the four lobes of the sp3 hybridized orbital and in general the angle between these two Uh, lobes are 109 degree 28 minute so this is the typical uh, visualization of an sp3 hybridized orbital but if you see in case of cyclopropane you can see that this angle is not 109 degree instead it is 60 degree so you can see that there is a huge deviation of this carbon carbon bond angle compared to the regular sp3 hybridized bond angle so this huge deviation of 49 degrees called the angle strain now what happened due to this huge deviation is that due to this angle strain the sp3 hybridized orbital do not overlap with each other as efficiently as it is okay so let's see that you can see that these are the sp3 hybridized lobes of the carbon atom now you can see that due to this angle strain they do not uh, able to overlap as efficiently as it should if it is it its angle is 109 degree so you can see that uh, the this is the angle it should uh, when uh, the carbon is uh, remain as sp3 hybridized orbital so let's see in case of this ethane molecule as an example in case of ethane molecule as you can see that this two sp3 hybridized orbitals are uh, uh, overlapped with each other very efficiently because the angle is maintained at 109 degree 28 minute but in case of the cyclopropane as this angle is not uh 109 degree instead it is 60 degree so they do not able to overlap with each other that sufficiently that it should be so due to that insufficient overlap between this sp3 hybridized orbital these carbon carbon bonds the sigma carbon carbon bonds are weaker in nature so that's why they have very high potential energy and due to that these cyclopropanes are least stable okay so uh, uh, moreover one thing that uh, you should know that as we are going from sp to sp2 to sp3 hybridized orbital the p character increases and the angle between the lobes is decreases now in case of 
this cyclopropane the angle is much more lower compared to 109 degree so that's why these orbitals are having more p character than sp3 hybridized orbital okay so this is the uh, uh, this is the basic reason why the cyclopropane ring is much more less stable compared to cyclohexane or any other uh, four membered or five membered rings because it has a huge angle strain and due to that huge angle strain their high uh, their sp3 so-called sp3 hybridized orbital do not overlap with each other as efficiently in k as as it it should be okay now uh, let's see another thing this is again I am uh, drawing this cyclopropane ring now you can see the, if you look from this angle and if you try to draw the Newman projection formula uh, uh, around the due to the rotation around this CC bond you will draw like this so this is the front carbon this this is the front carbon like this and this carbon is the carbon that is behind this sphere okay and this is the sideway carbon as you can see ch2 now if you see that the newman projection of the cyclopropane these hydrogen atoms are having eclipsed conformation so they are very close to each other and due to these types of eclipsed conformation that is occurred due to uh, due to this planar geometries these hydrogen has to be in eclipsed conformation so their distance is very small so they have significant van der Waals repulsion or london repulsion forces that i have discussed previously in my oh, previous lecture so you can see that the, due to this very close proximity of this hydrogen atom there is a huge van der Waals repulsion force that is also called torsional strain okay so you can see that the cyclopropane ring has both angle strain as well as repulsive tor torsional strain or repulsive dispersion force so due to these two reason cyclopropane is much more least stable so that is the least stable cycloalkane that is exist in nature okay so both angle strain and torsional strain are present in cyclopropane ring now let's see the in case what happened in case of cyclobutane so cyclobutane it is basically a four membered ring so this is the actual structure of the cyclobutane so as you can see this cyclobutane is not planar in nature and the angle that is the ccc bond angle is 88 degree now you can see that the deviation from the or the departure from an ideal sp3 hybridized orbital bond angle is of the order of 21 degree so there is there exist some angle strain but still this angle strain is much more lower compared to that cyclopropane but still angle strain exist but here that you can see the torsional strain is little bit relieved this really this is because the, all these carbon atoms are right now not uh, in a same plane so what happen if all the carbon atom reside in same plane so you can see this is this is the scenario of the cypher in case of cyclobutane all carbon atoms reside in the same plane so in that case this carbon carbon bond angle is 90 degree so in that geometry well the angle strain is little bit reduced but what happened in this geometry you can see that all the hydrogen atoms are in eclipsed conformation so there will be huge torsional strain but this huge torsional strain can be easily relieved if one of the atom become out of the plane as you can see this is uh, below th this atom goes below the plane and this uh, carbon atom goes uh, above the plane so by just twisting the bond carbon carbon bond some carbon atom become out of, uh, out of the plane and making this hydrogen atom uh, 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 separate from each other so so now the, the distance, distance between, between this hydrogen, hydrogen atom is not as close as it would be in a planar situation so, so we, we can, can actually avoid this torsional strain by little bit uh, changing this uh, uh, changing this geometry of the uh, cyclobutane ring so that it become non planar okay 
so that's why angle strain is uh, angle strain is there in case of cyclobutane but torsional strain is much more relieved compared to cyclopropane so that's why cyclobutane is uh, uh, more stable than the cyclopropane now you can see that by folding or bending slightly the cyclobutane ring relieves more of its torsional strain than it gains in the slight increase in the angle strain now let's see the example of cyclopentane so cyclopentane it co consists of total five carbon atoms and you can see that this carbon atom is out of the plane okay so this is the actual structure of the cyclopentane ring now what happen if all the carbon atoms would remain in the same plane in that situation also you can see that although the angle is become 108 degree so there will not be any angle strain but as in that geometry all hydrogen atoms are in eclipsed conformation so there will be huge torsional strain and like cyclobutane in this case also this torsional strain can be relieved uh, by uh, going one carbon atom out of the plane okay so you can see that this carbon atom goes out of the plane so that now all these hydrogen atoms are not in eclipsed conformation now this cyclopentane ring is very much flexible in rich nature sometimes this carbon atom goes out of the plane or sometimes this carbon atom goes out of the plane like this so it is very much flexible in nature so by doing this they could avoid the huge torsional strain that could be when it is in uh, it has planar geometry okay so you can see that this molecule is flexible rapidly shifts from one conformation to another so that's it from this uh, lecture in the next lecture i am going to discuss about the cyclohexane uh, ring that is the most important part of this uh, of organic chemistry to understood it uh, i should give i should give you a separate uh, lecture on cyclohexane basically this cyclohexane has basically two important conform uh, conformation that is chair form and boat form so what is called chair form what is called boat form which is more stable all those aspects will be discussed in my next lecture and uh, so uh, stay tuned i will uh, i will upload the next lecture very soon and if you have any doubt in this lecture you can ask me through the comment section and thank you very much for watching this video till end and take care of yourself bye bye